Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Bad, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we are continuing, or we started the, a bit of a deep dive into some Windows 365 stuff. Um, and it's, it's, it's less about Windows 365 and more about how to keep it secure and compliant, really. So the last episode I kind of showed how to integrate it with um, ERD, Defender, you know, Endpoint, um, Defender but also then showed some hardenings we can do on nsgs and how you can use nsgs to harden the subnet which because that's where your network connection is assigned to so um that was just the start of a bit of a bit of um a bit of a mix of match today actually i'm going to focus a little bit more on conditional access specifically so i have a i've changed it up a little bit i've got a test user and i have a windows 365 deployed um, I've got my card PCs. It's this one here. So Bruce Bonus. So this is my and, and the user is uh, it's called Bruce because the test user I've got signed to it is Bruce Wayne. I like comics. Batman's my favourite. Let me know in the comments who your favourite comic book hero is, but mine's Batman, so I created a test user. Now what I want to actually do is in conditional access. Um, I've created a policy. Um, we go to conditional access, uh, and this policy is um, specifically locking down. Um, it's, it's essentially locking it down to uh, to a certain location with a certain uh, signing um, level um, and targeted um, for Windows 365. So let me go through the actual policy, and that will make sense. So I call it Windows 365 demo policy, and um, specified the the user which is my, my, my test user, Bruce.Wayne. The target resource is Windows 365, which does include, so it says there, selecting Windows 365 will affect connection to cloud PCs and AVD. So someone's aware of that. Now, the, the new place for trusted locations is called Network. Now, I created a trusted location for home, which is my, my home IP, public IP address, so it knows that's to be trusted. Then from a conditions perspective, is there's three conditions I've configured. One is sign-in risk. So I've put the sign risk of medium. Uh, I've then put the platform as Windows. And then again, locate, this is still here locations, but it's moving to networks, but essentially my trusted network of my home. And I've put two controls in, essentially. So the first control is to require an FA. The second one is to mount the device as, as marked as compliant. And it's in report only mode. Now, what we should see here now, I did a test beforehand. I'm going to go down to monitoring and signing logs. So I've, I've got quite a few signing logs here. Now, before I did the policy, I did a test uh, and logged in successfully. Uh, I think it was this one here. Uh, yeah, that one there. Actually, let me just change it. This annoys me. UTC time. Do it my local time, man. All right, so uh, I believe was it the Windows app it was. So this is a success, uh, just is like from my baseline basically. So you can see the location, that is my public IP address, New South Wales, um, it's from my Mac OS, um, authenticated, no issues, and applied, you can see only applied the AVD MFA, um, and um, that, that's the policy that's not been applied. Now, what I've done then is I've logged into, I've got a VPN, I've got an on-premises uh, lab that I've access to. I've logged into a jump server there. And that's where I've actually uh, used the web portal and I've logged into with, with, with Bruce. And as we'll be seeing, I think this one here. Now again, my location has changed. You can see my public IP address is different. So uh, to prove that you know, it was a different location. It's actually Edge and it was a Windows 10 device. You can see from a conditional access policy that again, the at this time, the AVD MFA did not apply. If you go to report only, you can see here that it's actually reported and it's it's actually come back. So if I was to, if I was to turn this on, I would have been blocked from signing in basically. So again, you can see there the signing risk did not match um, and the location did not match. Um, so it, it, it blocks. So the user matched, the Windows 35 portal matched, but then these two things. So it, blo it would have it would have blocked me if I was in report mode. Now what I want to kind of show and, and what what I've done there is I simulated a signy uh, risky signing, and what that's allowing us to do now is 
control where people log into Windows 365. Now, I know we live in a remote world and you know working from home is, is quite apparent and, and all sorts like that. However, we do need to remember that we still need to control the certain locations we you know we, we do trust, but there's other locations where we want people to we want people to do MFA, we want people to make sure the device is compliant that they're logging in from. So it still needs to be controlled. Now, what I've done there is show how we can do that. We can do, you know, we can have trusted locations. And it is, if you are logging in from a, an office that, you know, we trust, or even your public, you know, your own public IP address that we'll, we'll trust, um, you know, then it's fine. Go ahead, you can sign in, use it, no problem. But if you're signing in from outside that location, there'll be certain countries. Obviously, I've done a specific off, you know, IP range, but you can do multiple different sort of um, locations, you know, uh, geographic locations, country, specific countries. Then we're again, mitigating that risk and, and reducing that tax surface to Windows 365. So I wanted to show how we can control that and how we can lock that down. Um, now, again, there's more stuff we can do around uh, compliance. I'm gonna be doing some compliance policy things in the, the sort of Intune integration. Um, but for now, I just kind of wanted to show a way we can use conditional access policies to actually uh, lock down the you know to a trusted location and also the sort of sign in risk, the, the, the risky sign in. Um, and again, just to get in report mode, just to show that look, it is and what, what it's not, what it's failing on, and what it's passing on. Um, so always good to put things in report mode if you just want to test out. That's what I just did there. Um, so yeah, that was just quick to show you some integration with Windows 365 and and. Uh, control access policies. There's loads more you can obviously create. There's a full templates you can do, but that was a specific one that I wanted to kind of just, just show. I put some links in the description to my to my uh, last series that I did on Windows 365. It's kind of a VDI series, but there's loads of videos on Windows 365. If you are new to the technology, have a look at that content. I also put a link into my exam content, which is members only, so you have to become a member. Um, and there's the sort of fundamental associate and um, expert level stuff there. I've got the SC900, which will be coming very, very soon. I'm in the process of recording that, but at the moment I've got AZ900, MS900 already there, fundamental level. I've got AZ170, AZ700, SC300 and 200, I believe. And I've also got the SC, what we used to be the SC100, I think it's 101 now, but it's all the architecture, security architecture one. Um, so please do take a look at that. And also make sure you're subscribing. I see on my analytics, I still got people that are subscribed. You know why? Just, 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 just a little button. Hit that button and make sure you kind of hit that notify button as well, so you know of uh, when I'm doing maybe lives or I've got more lives coming up. And I'm going to do some more giveaways of the uh, Nerdio T-shirt as well. I've got the the 50k subscriber Nerdio T-shirt. Uh, so thank you for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.